Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node, we're going to be going over macros. And macros aren't necessarily a single node, so you can't search for the macro node. But macros are technically a node or a group of nodes that users combined to create user defined set of controls, meaning you can create your own nodes based off of one or multiple nodes. And there's tons of free macros out there already, like all the Cardiverse stuff is all mostly macros. So let's jump into Fusion and let's create a macro. So this is stuff we've been working on when we're going over the flow organization. And I'm just going to use this as an example. So let's say we wanted to uh, take our Delta key and uh, use this to create a silhouette. And I want to make a macro. That way I don't have to keep making this node over and over again. So what I could do is I could add a channel booleans node. So shift space channel booleans node. I'm going to add it and I'm going to go from my Delta cure output into the background of my channel booleans node. And that's it. I'm not bringing anything else into this, uh, this channel node here. And on this node, I want to leave it to copy. I'm going to go to red to background, red foreground to green, background green foreground, and to blue, background blue foreground. And then my alpha, I want to uh, bring from my background because this is my alpha channel. So if you look at it, we now have a silhouette. And if I look at my alpha channel, it's uh, still got its alpha applied to our little mask there. But if I wanted to uh, change colors on this because it's black and you might want different colors, you might want a white, we can go ahead and add a shift space invert color node and initially it's going to do some odd stuff because uh, one we just lost our entire alpha but if i look at uh, our little node here you can see now we've got a black background instead of it being transparent right here it's just like all white so what we want to do is we want to go from our channel booleans node out to the effect mask of our invert color node. So now we've got our color inverted. It's white, but if we look at our alpha, we've still got our little alpha there. And the good thing about this now is uh, I can turn all this stuff off and still have our black, but if I want it red, I can invert the red, or I can invert the green, invert the blue, or a combo of them to uh, Pick whatever color I want and it's useful if we're doing like different mass stuff where we need different color silhouettes or whatever you need it for. Anyway, so these are the nodes that we want to create a macro off of. So to be able to create a macro, what we need to do is select both our nodes, right click, go up here and select create macro. And we're going to get a bunch of options here. And what it's going to do is it's going to break it down per node within our selection. So right here, we have all the channel Boolean stuff we can select. And we have all the invert color things we can select to create our macro from. So let's start with our channel node here. And under our output, we don't want to output because this is already connected to our uh, invert color out. So we don't need an additional output. We do need a background because this is going to be our initial input. We don't care about a foreground because we're not going to be adding any foregrounds to this channel node. We will add an effect mask just in case we need a uh, effect mask on that. And we don't need a map. We're going to leave all of our color operations blank. And basically by checking these down here, this is what's going to show up in our little inspector over here. So I don't want any of these options to show up. So none of our color, none of our auxiliary channels. And under the common controls, I'm not going to bring in any common controls from our uh, channel booleans node. We'll go ahead and do that from our invert color. So on our invert color node, the things we want to bring over here to be able to select is we do need an output because we're going to have to output this node. We don't want another effect mask and we don't want another source because it's already uh, connected from our little channel node here. Down here under our controls, we do want invert our red, invert our green, invert our blue. So we can do these little operations right up here. I don't care about our invert alpha because it does odd things when we have it connected like this. So I'm going to leave that blank, but we can change our names. 
So instead of invert red, invert green, invert blue, we can just change it to uh, to red, green, and blue. And over here, our default numbers are just our uh, defaults. If we want these all set to off, we would just change it to zero. And if we wanted on, we change it to one. And over here, if we have minimum and maximum, i.e. if it's a uh, slider type thing, then we can put our minimum and maximum numbers in there. And these are all the controls we really want within our invert color node. But under our common controls, we do want a uh, blend mode. We'll get a process when it's uh, below zero. And we'll get all our independent channel processes on there so we can manipulate them if we need. Our mask inputs. And I don't want any of these. I do, however, want all my uh, motion blur options. So I'm going to select those. And let's go ahead and select our comments just in case we want to uh, add comments. It'll give us a comment section. And then the last thing we need to do, or the first thing you should have done, is our macro name. This is what our node is going to be actually named. So if I go in here and let's change this to uh, silhouette, silhouette, silhouette. So now we're going to have a node named silhouette. So once I hit close, save changes to macro. If I don't, I'll hit no. If I want to cancel, I can cancel. If I want to uh, save it, I hit yes. It's going to uh, bring us up to our little macros folder here, and I'm going to hit save. So now I can delete these out. So now if I hit shift space and type in silhouette, there's our little note. So we can add it, and we've got our note. And if we look, we've got our red, green, and blue, and all the additional stuff we added to it. So if I go from our delta key and bring it into our input, because we've got our input, we've got our effects mask, We've got our output that we created. If I look, it's working perfectly fine. So we can shut our individual channels off and it's working. Make sure our alpha is working and there we go. So we've got a uh, new macro we created. And if we needed to edit this, we can go here to uh, macro, select our little silhouette node. We can make any changes we need to make and, uh, when we close it, we would hit save. So now we can bring our little uh, silhouette into our uh, input instead. So there we go. We've got our nice little macro we created. I will see you in the next no breakdown.